Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. Today we are going to be exploring Aztec mythology and one of the most important goddesses that form part of the cosmology and the pantheon of the Aztec people of Mexico. We are going to be speaking about Huitlipo. Huitlipo was the Aztec goddess of earth known as Serpent Skirt and she was regarded as an old woman who represented the ancient world's worship of the earth. She was worshiped during the spring and autumn seasons in the Aztec tradition. In Aztec mythology, she was a priestess who was tasked with maintaining the shrine on the sacred mountain Huatepec. Her image features a dualism. Her face is made up of two fanged serpents and her skirt is made up of interwoven snakes. She also feeds on dead bodies as the earth consumes all that it has left with her clawed fingers and toes. In addition to her skirt, which is made up of snakes, she was also known to wear a necklace that featured human hearts and alternating hands. She was commonly portrayed with the face of serpents in place of a human head and her hands were likewise replaced with snakes. This use of Aztec iconography suggests that Quetlicu had been dismembered and the twin head snakes possibly representing gouts of blood. Her feet are giant jaguar claws. A serpent of blood flows from beneath her skirt of serpents. Another sculpture shows Quetlicu with her head still intact. However, the face is partly skeletonized and defleshed. Her nose is missing, revealing the cavity and yet she has flesh on her lips which are open to reveal barred teeth. One day, while Quatliku was sweeping, she noticed that a ball of feathers had come from the heavens. When she tucked it into her belt, it impregnated her. The child she gave birth to from this divine impregnation was Huitzilopochtli, the Aztec god of war. However, her other children, including her doctor, Koyalokshi, and her 400 sons, the Senton Huitznahua, were outraged by her actions and stormed the mountain to kill her. The story of how Huitzilopochtli was born fully grown and fully armed as an invisible warrior happens because one of Quatlicu's Huitzinawa lost his heart and did not want to kill his mother. He was then able to use his powerful weapon which was called the Shukotl to kill his siblings. The classic Nautil goddess name can be rendered as Quatlicu or Quatl Iku, which means she who has a skirt made up of snakes. The name Tetio Inan from Tetio, which is the plural of Teotl or God, and Inan, which means their mother, refers directly to her maternal role. Nothing is mentioned in the records of Quatlicu having any other power other than being the mother of Witsilapochli, but she was feared and worshipped and offered sacrifices to by the Aztecs. The massive sculpture known as Quetlicu was buried during Spanish conquest as it went against the Catholic teachings of the Spanish invaders. It was eventually unearthed in 1790 and was again regarded as an inappropriate pagan icon and buried again. At that time, Antonio Len Igama, an astronomer and historian, drew sketches of the sculpture and claimed that it was Teoyamikui. After it was discovered again in the 20th century, it became the most prominent sculpture in the National Anthropology Museum. As you can see, there are some goddesses or gods in different mythologies who have a very important contribution in the fact that they were the ones who brought about the more important gods into the universe. The same case with Quetlicu, whose records have been surprisingly less documented because the Aztecs are in general known for having a very good documentation of their history, mythology and religion. We will be exploring a lot more of these mythologies as we go along and we also have the surprise coming up in a couple of episodes wherein we will be introducing a brand new mythology to our audience. Till then, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Mythlok. This is your host Nitin Nair 
signing out by reminding you once again that Mitlok is the home of mythology. <laughs>